Today we're going to take a look at some 308 black tip AP rounds. What can they do and what can't they do? And if you're not careful, you may learn something before it's done. So let's get ready, okay? Hey, hey, hey. That's creepy. Welcome back, Tau Flater folks. Jeff and the OG out here. But today, special guest, we've got Future Officer Sergio with us and Dead Eye Danny out here with you today. I don't know if you guys know this, but true story, I actually have a tattoo of Danny right down here on my lower back. I can show you guys if you want. No? Not a good time? Hey, so today we brought out with us some, uh, we're outside of California today, believe it or not. And uh, we're shooting some 308 rounds. We're going to kind of mix it up for you guys. And uh, we brought some tracer rounds that Randy sent us some time ago, as well as some armor piercing rounds. That's why we're outside of California. And uh, we're going to try it out of this Smith & Wesson M&P 10. We've got some various targets to shoot downrange. Before you throw things in the comments section, know that we're not going to shoot tracer rounds out here at night. The fourth rule of firearm safety is you always have to know your backdrop and what you're shooting at. We're not going to shoot out here at night when we can't see what's downrange. So we're going to have to see what these do in the daytime. So anyway, we're going to try them against some different steel targets. We've got a hammer. What else you got for us? Oh, copper plate, AR-500 plate. You guys uh, are going to like it, so stay tuned. Yes. Okay, adjustable end wrench. Yeah, oh, the crest, giant crescent wrench. Crescent we're going to finish wrench. that off. See if we'll go through that big crescent wrench, hard That's right. steel. That's right. So, and for those of you who are wondering, um, this is a, uh, a non-California compliant rifle at this time because uh, this is an undocumented rifle and we run a sanctuary safe. So, uh, you know, whatever goes back in the safe goes back in the safe. No sanctuary one state. It, no, it's a sanctuary safe because that's where the undocumented rifle goes. Okay. See, that's I thought, why it's I thought you were just stumbling over your words so like I do. Our governor gets to pick and choose what uh, laws he likes to abide by. So uh, today we're picking and choosing what laws we like to abide by. <laughs> All right. Hey, enough, it goes, huh? enough blabber. Let's get to it. First shot is a tracer, right? Yes. So we're going to see if the tracer will go through the AR-500 plate. have no idea if these will even function, but we'll try it and see. I'm ready. Here we go. I saw a red flash on that thing. Yep. Did you? Yeah. Well, here comes the so-called tracer round. We don't see any tracerization, but we see a big flash, more akin to what you'd see with an incendiary round. That scope is sighted in for 100 yards, so I just held about, uh, I don't know, four or five mils high, aimed up about here, splattered it in right there. So, tracer's a no-go. Let's give it a try with the uh, armor piercing. Oh, yeah. I'm ready when you are. Here we go. We have full penetration, and if I could only wiggle my finger through that tiny little hole, but... No go. Try so you'll see. <laughs> Try something different. <laughs> I'm gonna need you to step up here and volunteer. <laughs> so you'll see less splatter here. That's because the round penetrated straight on through and made a real clean little exit hole. Can you see that in the? Yeah. Case? Oh yeah. So in the front, nice, perfect little clean hole, like a drill went through there. And, and then we the had back. a bag of cement back there. Did it? Did it, did it go through the? back of the cement it did not exit the bag of cement so we will dig that out later and see if we can find that okay thing. yeah we should be able to find the core or whatever so carry around bags of cement for a perfect bulletproof vest yeah all right here comes the ap round and it went right through that ar 500 plate like it was made out of uh i don't know a paper bag there you go it's when it was cast i guess this came from matt v 2099 We'll see if we can get anything to go through that. We'll try a tracer first again. What do you think? Sure. We only got four tracers, so. I think we put Danny on the trigger this time. Yeah, let Danny shoot. We'll let everybody shoot. Even Doris. <laughs> okay, we got Matt from Slow Motion Ranch out here. Oh no, that's Danny. <laughs> Danny's gonna take a try. Armor piercing versus copper ingot. That one, had a that one may have gone through. Uh, signature too. All right, first we'll show you the so-called tracer round. No tracerization or whatever you want to call it. But we did see a puff of smoke exiting the copper ingot. 
and now the AP round and it went right through the copper and if you've seen our previous videos where we shot this with various handguns, shotgun rounds and all that stuff you know that this copper is quite tough this was our first one the tracer round this is our uh, non-compliant AP round <laughs> I see light through it. Yeah. Can you get your finger through there? Still penetrated core made it through. Yeah, it made it. But I don't no know if crawl. you can see it in the camera there, but the jacket is down in the hole there. Since I know my audience, <laughs> will it go through that side? It's about two inches, at least two inches thick. This one actually surprised us because we thought there was no way it would be able to go through, oh, just under 60 millimeters of copper, but it did. And again, it did it almost effortlessly. We knew you were going to ask, so we shot it on the side. What, uh, two inches? At least. And look at this. <laughs> I thought it would stop in that. I thought it would too, being copper, it's kind of soft. Might have grabbed it, but... Oh my god, do we have to shoot it lengthwise now? You can't stop the feeling. <laughs> Look here, there's the impact hole, but it slammed that uh, copper ingot into that bucket. Yeah. No exit. Our, our, our backstop's working really well. Lost most of its energy just dry, drilling through that copper ingot. So we're doing things safely. I, for once. Huh? <laughs> so where did you get that super brittle bucket? It was in my backyard. I don't know where it came from. Not from I don't Dick's, think it's it I don't think it wasn't from Dick's. <laughs> not definitely not Dick's. It says right there on the logo. <laughs> the audience is gonna want to shoot it lengthwise through that. Bring the audience out here, they can shoot it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> if you could shoot better than these guys. No, everybody can. Just ask them in the comments section. Right. You gotta see my score in uh Yeah, Call of Duty. Or what's the latest game? The Fortnite. Fortnite, yes. Okay, here we go. Now we didn't plan to shoot it through its width, much less its length. Greg got a nice clean center shot. Let's see if it went through or not. Did it go through? That's the million dollar question. Did not go through. That would have been down here. However, we punched it right there. It went in about inch and a half, two inches. Inch and a half. And you can actually see about a half an inch down there. If you can see it in the camera there, there's a, you can see the back of the jacket. The tip of the core is probably about two inches or, or If it went through that width, it's probably at least that deep, if not maybe three inches or something. Maybe someday we'll cut it open. Okay, so this uh, Sergio is up next. He's going to shoot this real, this big old Dodge 3500 Hemi engine. <laughs> and what we're going to do is send it on end here so that we can actually try and drive one of those. In all seriousness, I was very surprised people guessed what this head was off of. At least three people guessed that it was, uh, or named, they didn't guess, they knew it was off of a NSU Prins microcar. Yavol. Yeah. Special guest star Edward Sarkissian today. You want to say hi to everybody? Hey. What's up, guys? <laughs> you ready? Where are you, Edwin? Ooh. Good shot. So Sergio punched it right here in the little fins. It actually made it through the first layer, but you can see right in there, it zoomed out the outside, hit the little inside of that bowl, and shot off at an angle. Went out the side. Okay, that might not be the best target. Shooting anyway. out towards a Wisconsin farmer because we're not in California, so. Over by Reno yeah. over there. Well, it's no surprise that this AP round could go through an aluminum cylinder head. That would disable the engine. Okay, we've got a blast plate up so we don't get heat distortion on it for the high-speed camera. Ow. Well,
Well, the first shot just caught the very bottom edge of the hammer. We're going to throw this one out and give it another try. A lot of dust and stuff in the way, and you can't really see what's going on. Alright, the second shot was much better. We can see what's going on now. And we can actually see pieces of the broken penetrator core kind of spilling out in front of the target. So this was a two pound hammer, which is worth $17 in the UK. And <laughs> it dug in there nice and deep, but did not come out the other side. That's a lot of steel too. Wow. So. Next target is this Harbor Freight adjustable wrench. It's about 17 millimeters thick. Okay, I'm ready. Here we go. Well, the AP round had no problem punching through this very thick adjustable wrench. Now note that the wrench was leaning back a little bit, kind of representing sloped armor. So in essence, the bullet actually penetrated more than just 17 millimeters of this wrench. And I'll show you that in a minute. Okay, now Danny's gonna shoot it with a tracer, since we have one of those left. Now again, the tracer round acted more like an incendiary round, but because we had a ballistic panel behind this to catch the bullet fragments, we can see a little glowing bit of something there. Not sure what that is. You decide. This is what the wrench looked like after it was hit by the AP round. And you'll notice that the angle that the bullet actually went through pretty thick piece of metal and it's very hard too. So that's where he impacted it. He looks like some red paint or j copper jacketing still on there. Copper jacketing. We found a bit of the copper jacket in the uh, ballistic panel back there. And that stopped it. Huh? That was kind of buried in right here. Oh, okay. But, uh, a little low from where I was aiming, but those rounds have been a little bit inconsistent. Oh, yeah. Before? Saw a big, Might have been, yeah. big fireball flash. I don't know, almost like an incendiary. It's more, they, they seem to be more like incendiaries than tracers. Someone clarify that. <laughs> <laughs> Great. We have, do we have one more tracer? We have one more incendiary tracer. We we moved the target back even farther to see if we can get these, if the tracer takes a lot longer to activate or whatever. We're at a uh, little over 20 yards now. All at right, a, here we go. Ooh, saw a piece of black something shot, shoot up the top. Well, at around 20 yards or more, we still didn't see the bullet acting like a tracer. I don't know what these things are. Maybe they're defective. I have no idea. Danny JFK that ball right there. <sighs> Zing! What, too soon? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you actually see the path of it. Yeah, isn't that cool? Oh, Look at that. It exited just... Now you know what's inside of a bowling ball. Or at least what was inside Brain of matter. a 1963 bowling ball. Yeah. It's cork. Cork! It's old school ebonite bowling ball. Wow. Yeah. Went on through, hit our ballistic panel. Did you go through that too? Yeah, look at the back went of that. Through the thing. back of the panel. Wow. Punched it through the bucket. That's too bad that. And out the other side. Brand new bucket. I know. Bummer. Some not dicks. <laughs> All right, you saw what armor piercing bullets can and cannot do. This is a bonus test. Armor piercing shotgun slug sent to us by Matt. Thank you, Matt. Armor piercing slug. Will it pierce armor? Where are you aiming at? Where are you? Uh, dead center by those three little little divots. Go a little to the left at that little blank area there. All right. You know, see what I'm saying? Yep. Okay, I'll feel better that way. I'm ready. All right, we got a lot of heat distortion, so bear with me. 
You can, can see the slug, which is a Lyman slug with a steel ball bearing in the back of it, loaded backwards. Well, it is tumbling around, and it didn't penetrate the plate. It hit hard, though. And, of course, this video would not have been possible without our Patreon supporters and also the people that have sent us stuff to test out. We really appreciate that.